Instead of buying a new door, we brought this one back to life. Let us show you how. Stick with us. Welcome to the Handyverse, where we approach home ownership mindfully and turn to DIY as a first resort. So recently, Jason and I ordered a new uh, back entry door that's mostly glass, something that we really wanted. Um, we were looking forward to buying as soon as we moved to this house, but three years later, um, we're still waiting for the store. So we're really excited about that. But when we were ordering that, we got a little carried away, and we had ordered or added to the order a new entry, uh, front entry door. And then after we had put the order in, we realized, okay, whoa, like we we really weren't thinking about that. We you know weren't being mindful, and we realized like we can redo and, and repurpose the store because. There's nothing really wrong with it other than it needs a little TLC. So that kind of brings us back to our point too. As you most of you know, or at least in one of our videos we mentioned, we have a new family member who's a few months old now. And we have been kind of sitting back and not doing a lot of the projects that we should be doing, like getting a little lazy, I suppose. Um, and while that's an excuse, it can't be an excuse forever because really you can always find time. But it's just kind of getting that momentum started. And I know for me personally, I don't know about all of you, I have what's called like decision paralysis. So for instance, getting started on this door typically would take me like a few weeks, months before I decided like I'm really going to get down to it because I'd be hung up on the color or the handle knob wear and like Jason just like gets very impatient. So this time we just said like let's just go with it because once you start making a decision, you make the first step make that first decision everything just kind of rolls after because you get excited and you get your momentum going so that's sort of our advice is just just take the first step and get going um, so let's get going really there's not anything wrong with this door structurally it's just if you're up close it doesn't look very good um, and it looks like someone did a patch job on the paint the black paint if you're up close so it doesn't look great and all of the hardware is really rusted and we're we are not the all ridges so we this is something on our list that we've wanted to replace for a while um, so we're not like reinventing the wheel here this is not a complicated project I don't think <laughs> we haven't started yet um, we're just kind of replacing and renewing everything that's here so in terms of hardware that we're replacing here's what we need door handle a knocker key or peephole a mail slot an underdoor seal and a deadbolt which wasn't in stock in time for this video but we do have it on order I always find it a little bit challenging because you kind of want everything to match but sometimes you can't get the color that you want in the say the knocker to because I wanted the black handle for instance however the knockers that were readily available to us that kept the momentum going for this project we only had like two or three colors and there wasn't a black one so we went with um, the satin nickel finish so everything just kind of fell into satin nickel finish so for paint we're going with bare it's an exterior paint and the finish is satin enamel um, we could have went for something a little glossier but um, the recommendation was that might show up more imperfections and the color we're using is, um, I don't know if you can see it there, but it's like a light blue. So we needed to use a medium base to get the right color. And for all of the hardware that we've mentioned and the paint, um, we'll put links to everything uh, in the description below. So the great thing about this project is that you don't need a ton of tools, but you do need a few, at least to make it a little easier on yourself. So here's what we think you'll need. A screwdriver, drill, sandpaper, painter's tape, foam roller, end brush, hacksaw, cleaning supplies, and then some maybe miscellaneous tools to remove stubborn hard hardware that's caked on. So it may not be best practice, however we decided to again keep our momentum going and because this project may take a day or two depending on how fast the paint dries and the weather or if we need to go out um, that we need to be able to shut the door because this you know in where we live we lock our doors generally at night so that's why we're going to just leave it on here next step we're going to remove all the hardware and under door seal to prep our area Down. Oh, it's disgusting. Look, they didn't prep their surface properly. Oh. 
So we got the exterior and interior of the meal slot off. Um, and then there's an, an additional piece that our new one, new meal slot didn't come with. So we're gonna opt to leave this in place. rough up this old paint with some sandpaper to make sure that the new paint sticks. Then we're going to wash it because it's pretty dirty. I'm going to tape around the edges of the door so we don't inadvertently paint something we don't want painted. Okay, so we're really happy with the look of the paint. We, it did end up taking three coats of paint, but it really took maybe five to 10 minutes for each coat, but we needed two hours of drying time each time. So it took a little while to get this done. Um, also, we, Jason, not me, <laughs> had to draw, um, make two new holes for our knocker, and thankfully they cover up the old one. So we made this hole and this one here, um, and we're gonna just use a little caulking to fill in this gap here these the old holes and also Jason had to make a new hole for the handle down here as well um, and we need to get this done so that we can lock our door tonight <laughs> front door makeover project and we're really happy with it and we completed it in about a day and a half um, even with looking after the little guy and uh, here's what we did here we did three coats of paint and we're actually really quite happily surprised by how good the paint job came out uh, we'll see how how well it stands up to the test of time we also replaced all the hardware like we said so we replaced the knocker the peephole mail slot handle we haven't replaced the deadbolt yet we're waiting for that to come on orders didn't make it in time for this video and so all of this cost us the hardware at least cost about 150 dollars we got a good really good deal on the handle though um and most of that we would have had to buy anyways had we originally gone with our decision to purchase the new front door with our back door that's on order uh so that's not much so we probably spent about an extra 50 dollars to sort of repurpose with what we had. Oh, and we also, I forgot, <laughs> we also bought the new under door seal as well. And as for the paint, that cost uh, about $30. Quite a bit, it's quite expensive for a little can of paint. So I guess all in all, that's about $180. And um, I, for that price, it looks pretty good. 
So pretty simple, just a little bit of elbow grease makes a big difference. Um, if you like this video, hit like, subscribe, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks for watching. So we finished uh, our... Okay, hold on. Look.